And the vaccine mandate for all private workers in the city is set to take effect in less than two weeks today. Mayor de Blasio giving some details about how it will be enforced. Morgan Mackay joins us now with what we know about the plan and the reaction it is getting. Morgan. Steve, from bodegas to multinational corporations, the vaccine mandate for all New York City businesses goes into effect in a little over a week. Mayor Bill de Blasio released new details on how the mandate will be implemented, but Randy Pierce with the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce says he is worried about how this will impact the economy. There's, you know, maybe a third to or more businesses that are that are expressing that they can't find workers. So um, um, vaccine mandate uh, that basically puts people's jobs at jeopardy uh, is just going to exacerbate that problem. Starting on December 27th, all employees in New York City must receive at least one COVID vaccine dose. Workers then have 45 days to show proof of their second dose. Employers are to keep records of their workers' proof of vaccination to share with city inspectors if requested. Businesses must also post a certificate in an obvious location showing that they are in compliance with the city's mandate. This is the boldest action in the nation. It is very, very consistent with what we're dealing with right now because we have new threats, powerful new threats. We have to answer them. We cannot be too late to answer Omicron. This new variant moves fast. We have to move faster. When it comes to penalties. But they do start at $1,000 per violation if we need to use them. And we can escalate that intensely if we see a pattern of willful refusal to follow the law. Randy Pierce disagrees that this drastic of a measure is needed in New York City and pointed to possible confrontations at workplaces. It's all happening right around the holiday time, too. I mean, how mean-spirited is it uh, to have to let people go uh, right around the holiday time? I mean, it's just it's just a wrong-headed policy, and, and we've got to, you know, we've got to undo this. There are a few exceptions to the vaccine mandate. For example, if people work from home or if they have religious or medical exemptions. This mandate is expected to face legal challenges as it goes into effect.